Yo, what's going on guys? It is Friend here, and today I am happy to introduce you to a new series I'm starting here on YouTube called Simple Skilling. And it's very easy. I'm basically just going to be running y'all through every skill in the game and the most efficient way to get from level 1 to level 99 and on. So if y'all want to follow along with me, today our first skill is going to be runecrafting. All right, so without further ado, let's get started. Now, a couple of helpful items I'd like to go over with you guys before we actually start training uh, would be the runecrafting skill cape, the runecrafting master skill cape, and all of the runecrafting pouches. So each of these does have sort of a time and place where it's appropriate while you're training. Now, the runecrafting capes, I would use those if you're going for anything past 99. So if you're already maxed, and you're shooting down after 120 or 200 mil or whatever prestige, I would definitely use those capes. So the regular skill cape is going to give you a chance at creating double the amount of runes. The master skill cape just increases how often that happens. So it essentially makes you runecraft a couple of ticks faster every once in a while. It's going to speed you up a little bit over the course of a long period of time, though, doing large XP goals like 200 mil, you might save yourself a couple hours in the long run. So I'd highly recommend using either one of those, just the best one that you can access. Now as for the runecrafting pouches, these bad boys can be obtained in the abyss just by killing the monsters that are in here. And they drop everything from the small pouch all the way up to the giant pouch. Uh, giant or massive, I can't remember exactly which one, but those are really only going to be useful to my players who don't have Donator. Now, if you don't have access to waypoints, I would definitely fill up your pouches every time you visit the bank before going back to the altar. It's going to save you a lot of time and help you get more experience per hour. But if you're going to be utilizing waypoints, I wouldn't even waste your time with pouches. It's really only good for non-donators. Alright, so this guide is going to be split up into two main methods. Uh, one method is going to be taking blood runes pretty much all the way to 99 and beyond and the other one is going to utilize the ZMI altar. So the Blood Rune method is more geared towards Iron Man accounts and anyone who is Dragon Donator or below. The reason that I say this is because Iron Man generally have a hard time stockpiling Blood Runes, and this is a pretty great way to do so. In addition, the ZMI altar can only be efficiently used by God Donator or higher with the Back Command and Bank Command. Otherwise, the Blood Altar with a single waypoint is going to be your best bet for XP an hour. Now, for the items you need. Fortunately, runecrafting is pretty simple. All you really need is Pure Essence. And I'm going to make this really easy for you guys. Super simple. If you're going to follow the first method using Blood Runes, I'd recommend getting between 7 and 8,000 Pure Essence. If you're going to use the ZMI method, I'd recommend getting between 5 and 6,000 Pure Essence. DMI is faster, it does use less material. Now, the first method is going to cost you somewhere in the ballpark of 100 mil if you choose to purchase the essence outright from somebody at around 12.5k a piece. Second method, a bit cheaper, sitting around 75 mil. Now, there are other methods for obtaining pure essence in the game, and I'd like to go over those real quick with you guys just so you know you do have options. Now, first, as we said, you can just flat out buy it from somebody. They usually go between 10 and 15k a pop, it just depends on how much you buy. Now, I'm going to be calculating the cost of 99, 120, and 200 mil on those numbers, so if they fluctuate over time, the cost of purchasing the skill might also change, and this guide, you know, the numbers might be just a little bit irrelevant. But from what I've seen over the past 3-4 years, they tend to hover between 10 and 15. I'd say you're pretty safe. Uh, the second way that you can get Pure Essence is from Camping Giant Mole. Now, Giant Mole is going to drop quite a bit of Pure Essence at a time. You can get a few thousand per hour there, uh, as long as you're safe spotting and killing it as quickly as possible. It's really good for Iron Man. That's probably going to be your best bet for stockpiling Pure Essence if you can't do next yet. Um, third method would be Slayer Monsters. Most of them do drop Pure Essence in small amounts, so if you choose to grind Slayer before runecrafting, like most people do, you probably already have a decent stock of Essence saved up. So you shouldn't need too much more to get to 99. Fourth, you can just mine it yourself. This method sucks. Don't do this unless you're an Ultimate Iron Man skiller or something and you literally cannot kill monsters. 
or buy things. Fifth, you can get pure essence from crystal key rewards at the chest at home. You can also find a chest at the donator zone, super donator zone, and the chill zone. And the crystal keys are a tertiary drop from both killing monsters and training skills. And players with god donator or higher will receive full key drops instead of key halves. So keep that in mind when you're shopping around for which donator status is right for you. In addition to full key drops, god donators also have access to some of the faster methods for runecrafting training that I'll be showing you in this video. Also keep in mind that the runecrafting pouches are a thing, but I would again only use them if you are not a donator. Other than that, pure essence is going to be all that you need. Alright, so for our first method, we're going to be using the ZMI Altar for the first 77 levels of our grind to 99. And I only say this because it's fast, and easy, and the XP is so quick at these low levels that I don't really see a point in switching from one altar to another. It, just grind this out until you can make blood runes, or until you want to keep going with ZMI. You'll use around 500 to 750 essence on these earlier levels, so it's really not that hard to get up to it. It only takes a few minutes. Alright, so now from level 77 to 99 and further. Now if you're going to be going down my first route, which is Blood Runes, this is where you're going to change things up a little bit. So as a non-donator, you are going to have to teleport manually between the Abyss and a bank. I recommend using the bank at the Shops command because it is very close to the teleport location, much closer than if you just use the Home command. So to get to the Blood Altar, all you've got to do is click on the Runecrafting skill, and then you're going to hit the Abyss. Now when you get in here, you want to go through the little crevice, and run around to the side, and you will see the Blood Altar entrance right here. All you got to do is just make your full inventory of Essence, empty your pouches if you've got them, and then teleport to Shops, Bank, and repeat the process. Now if you do have waypoints, I would definitely recommend setting one right here next to the Blood Altar. And again, as a bronze donator with just one waypoint, you could teleport between shops and waypoint one. If you are rune donator or higher and have multiple waypoints, you can always set one at a bank and then another at the altar and just bounce between the two. Now with all these waypoints and commands typing with runecrafting training, I would definitely recommend using macros of some kind. I can post a couple links in the description to the ones that I use, uh, but personally I do have a Razer Death Adder Elite mouse, and that has two little programmable buttons on the side, so I just have each one set to whatever command I want to use, and typically for runecrafting that is the back command and the bank command, because I am above god donator in the game, so when I train runecrafting that's my preferred method, but for you you can set it up any way you like, Whatever is easiest, just to make this grind a little bit better. Now, like I said, if you are lucky enough to have access to some of our lovely donator features, you'll know all about waypoints. And these bad boys are great at speeding up your in-game efficiency and making life a hell of a lot easier while grinding the less fun skills. All you gotta do, run up to the altar, type colon colon set WP one two three four, you know, whatever, however many waypoints you have. And when you're ready to teleport back, just type in colon colon WP and then whatever number that you bound that teleport to. Super simple, super easy. Definitely a good enough reason to get donator status, in my opinion. And if you don't want to spend the real money on it, you can get a bronze donator box for between four and 500 mil in game. It just depends on who's selling and how much they like you, to be honest. So really not that hard to save up for, but totally worth the investment. It's going to make your life a hell of a lot easier while you're training this skill. Now for my second and final method, you're going to be camping out the lovely ZMI Altar. Now, this is where the XP goes from bad to only kind of bad. I mean, it's slow. Like, don't get me wrong, but there's just something about a slight increase in XP per hour on skills like this that make me all gooey inside. So for my homies that have God Donator or higher, you privileged few are able to set a waypoint directly besides the altar, and you can just teleport back and forth between a bank and here with the B command. It is glorious. I love it. 
And using this method, again, you're only going to run through 5 or 6k pure essence on 99. It's really not bad. It's super quick. Um, it is a little grindy, but eh, whatever. You can do it. I believe in you. All right, so that about sums up the methods for training runecrafting to 99. If you guys have any questions about this skill at all, please feel free to drop a comment and ask away. You know, if I have an answer, I will definitely give it to you. But um, yeah, I, I think that's about all we got for this first episode of Simple Skilling. Um, shoot. Didn't really think about much of an outro here, so... Um, Christmas cracker on, on video? No? Okay. Got that new shield, though. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.